Hello and welcome to another presentation video of my Infinite Voxel engine. Um, you haven't heard a lot of this engine for a very long time and that's because I was very busy in doing several things um, on features and changing things, recoding things and all those stuff again. So one of the main things changed now was that I was some getting rid of the baked ambient occlusion. This, is, um, this shadow you see on the edges where the blocks meet, this was before, it was hard coded, so it was generated in runtime and it was baked in the geometry, in the texture data. So this was really fast at rendering, but unfortunately had a big drawback. And that drawback was, um, I wanted to have ramps. And I just don't have, um, I don't want to just have ramps, but I want ramps, corner ramps, different corners and all that stuff. And in order to do that, I have to get rid of the baked ambient occlusion. So what you see here is actually the same game engine without ambient occlusion, hard-coded in the geometry data, but with a screen space ambient occlusion in a post-process effect. This is much better in terms of uh, easiness to create new block types and a little bit more heavy on the GPU, but it shouldn't be a problem at all. At the moment I'm still reaching a lot of frames and this will change in the future when more features are added. But basically this works and looks quite nice, don't you think? And now let me show you the main reason why I've added this. It's new block types. It's basically because we want to have ramps like this. So just put some ramp here. Here we go. This is a ramp. More ramps. And we can have a ramp here and a ramp here. And some of my think, yes, but what's here? Should we place a ramp there? No, because we have other types of blocks like the corner. And we also have inside corners. So we can do many different types of um, block types now and this all works pretty well. As you may see this corner doesn't look quite right does it? So what we do is basically we have another corner type like this. So we can just make things like so. Please don't mind any uh, display bugs or overshadowing or some stuff like this because this is just not finished yet and is subject to change. Another thing which I had to add in order or, or after I've added the ability to have ramps is actually to make the volt generator actually place ramps. So this was another bigger change I've made to the engine. And how that would look like I will show you now. This is how the world looks after generating the geometry with all the ramps in mind. So this is uh, basically the same like before, but we do some pretty magic in the engine to make the mesh behave more uh, complete in order to generate all sorts of ramps to make the terrain more smooth. And that's what it looks now. And I think it looks pretty nice and gives the whole um, engine pretty cool look. It looks pretty cool. I, I like it. So this is something I would really enjoy. Yeah, and this um, issued a lot of other things to do in the engine. For example, having the water react to ramps as well. Having the light react to ramps as well. Which meant to modify the whole automatas for the water and for the ramps. Um, maybe it doesn't work right now because I don't know. If, I haven't tested it. So this is just a test to see what will happen. Here we go, the water function is, the water is uh, doing well, looks good to me. There's um, another texture there because this is actually dirt, it should be sand. But the generator does currently only produce sand when there's uh, on the water level, so don't be scared. This will be better in the future. <laughs> and so the light is working with the ramps and the water is working with the ramps. 
but is the path fine? And as you can see now uh, where the terrain is generating, this needs a bit more time now. And um, I need to figure out something to make this a bit fast because if you scroll along the terrain, you can see the terrain is uh, generated a little bit slower now. But there he is. Where's that little thingy? I've lost the thingy. Well, we'll just do some magic. We're just restarting the engine. <laughs> and there's our thingy. Because, yeah, the thingy is placed in a very weird spot. Um, because it's floating in the air. Because it was randomly placed, which is bad. But we can just spawn another one. Here we go. There we have a thingy. And this thingy is currently aiming to go over there. And as you can see, this works pretty good. And because the thingy is only capable of going um, left, right, front, back, and also go straight ramps up or down, so he's not able to go the diagonal front ramps. So if he want to put him here, he's going there only the straight, on the straight lines. But it works, so he's going there and where I put him, that's no issue at all. Well, that's the thing, and. What with you? You staring at me? Go away. Here we go. He's now finding more ways to go just randomly. But what we want to do is we do want some building. Let's build something. As we do it every time, I'll do some presentation videos. I will build something. What can we build? Where can we build? Maybe we will build a house because we can now have proper roofs. So there's a good spot for a house, I guess. So what we first do is we make some place and we put some rock in there because this is where our house will be and we will do some bricks here we go we have some bricks and we do have a door over here and then we want to have windows as well there will be no window and we don't have window in the back side so this is wrong well, we can just clean it up because it's a fast process to build in here. And the next thing to do is another row because we do have the thingy. We could actually find the thingy. Come on, rebuild. Do you see that when I'm zooming out, this is really uh, hard on the engine. And I do have a hard time to find any thingies. Uh, you may see that the terrain is getting uh, recreated every time I turn around. This is because of when they're not rendered for a couple hundred frames, they get just free up to spare memory because the engine is quite heavy on them, on memory, and we need to common it by freeing up some memory. So because I'm out of proper block textures, I just have the sand texture over here, so we just make a roof out of sand because we just have sand. So we are just building a roof here and then we can rotate the block here, here and as you can see the light automata is already building all those stuff up. And then we can place a ramp like this for the corners. I'm sure it's coming out there, I'm just building some some stuff and then we can have this corner and then we need some ramps here we go and then we we'll fill the rest up with some blocks and now we do have a nice house look this isn't that a nice house maybe we want to have a terrace as well so just deal with that stuff and we will do a terrace like so and in order we also want this go away and this go away to have a place on the floor now we have our terrace now we make the terrace the ceiling is that the right word uh, no just place it over there Everyone can build the house. Here you go, that's our terrace. And we can have some lights. 
like we always need lights. <clears throat> Here are the lights and on the terrace as well. And then we make it night. Doesn't that look nice? That's a nice house, isn't it? All right, so that's what I wanted to show you. Well, and this is the moment where my microphone cut off and I'm missing some audio. What I'm trying to do is um, let some fingers run around, but the video cut out too, so there's some bits missing. Anyway, I hope you like what you've seen in this video and um, be prepared for the next video where I'll show you some other cool stuff which is already in the engine, but I need to make a video out of it. So have a nice day and if you want to know something, just leave me a message. Bye.